Hi, I'm Professor of Fine Arts at the Tiger School of Art, uh, Temple University in Philadelphia. I am uh, in the photography area, specializing in uh, photographic strangeness. <laughs> What's your favorite type of uh, photography? Favorite type of photography? Um, there's kind of two sides to that question. There's the stuff that I do for myself, which is um, I go off into the woods and I am in search of shooting very small pictures of organic detail, and structure, and pattern. Um, in terms of being an audience and just looking at stuff, um, I tend to enjoy the work of um, street photographer Henri Cartier-Bresson, um, who just had the amazing ability to, to, to capture just incredible geometry and light and just have incredible things happening in those spaces. So I like his, his work. What do you like better, color pictures or black and white? Um, I'm a black and white guy. Um, <laughs> color, color just seems too real for me. Um, I, I think that black and white um, just kind of instantaneously adds mystery to a photograph. Um, and I also like looking at, at older work, stuff from 100 years ago or so, um, when everything was, was kind of on a warmer paper and, and kind of on, on creamier on creamier paper and, and just had, a, had, a, had a, an inherent wealth, uh, I'm sorry, an inherent warmth to it that um, just kind of enhanced the expressiveness and the, and the emotional, emotional qualities. Where's, uh, what galleries has your uh, work been shown in? Well, my main gallery is in Tokyo, Japan. It's a, a Mote Sando gallery, which is in uh, the Mote Sando uh, district of Tokyo, which is kind of, a, it's kind of like the Rodeo Drive of Tokyo, um, high fashion stuff. Um, I just find that Japanese people seem to like my work because it, 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 it kind of um, lines up with uh, some of the Japanese aesthetics. So where would be your favorite place to take pictures then? Well, I, most of my work is shot in Japan. Um, I, tend to, I tend to enjoy shooting more in, uh, in Kyoto, which is the ancient city. And I'm usually shooting on the grounds of uh, Zen temples or imperial gardens. Um, because there's a quality of light that happens there. And usually there are these beautiful gardens and they have these, this canopy of, of trees and light. Dappled light kind of comes through the trees and filters through. And it's just, it's just the quality of all that. It's just kind of soft and, and beautiful. And I like it. What's your biggest inspiration? My biggest inspiration? I think my biggest inspiration now might be I've always been fascinated by, by the philosophy of Zen, which, you know, again, 400 to 1,000 year old kind of Zen, um, Japanese traditional stuff. But, I, uh, but I'm also very interested in, in, in science and technology. Um, I spent two years in engineering school before I ever went to art school. And I read a lot of books. When I read books, it's usually about quantum physics and, 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 and you know, physics and theory and from, from microcosmic to macrocosmic. And I think that the science has gone so far around it's kind of meeting the Zen in the other direction. And they were both kind of saying the same thing. And so there's this new kind of convergence of, uh, of philosophy and technology that's really fascinating. So then what's your, your favorite aspect of being a teacher? Um, <laughs> I, it's, uh, my classes are amazing. I, I, I get basically get paid sit around with a bunch of really smart 20 year olds and talk about really cool stuff. You know, so um, I, my, my job is to empower people so that they will find, you know, meaning for themselves in, in whatever photographic stuff they shoot. And then they bring that work into class and we hang on the wall and we just talk about it and we exchange ideas. And everybody grows from that experience and they become more, more, um, more sensitive people and more, more uh, emotive people. It's a very cool thing to do. Alright, thank you for your time.